The landmine attachment is an awesome tool to incorporate into your training. It allows for variations and progressions. You can increase the difficulty by adding weight plates to the barbell, adjusting your stance, or modifying your range of motion. The versatility ensures you can continu continually challenge yourself and keep making progress. It also keeps it fun and exciting because you can tweak and change these movements and these patterns slightly. Landmine front rack lunges. This exercise targets your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, and it really gets your core. The landmine attachment provides a stable anchor point, enabling you to perform these lunges with increased control and balance. Landmine front rack lunges are especially great when it comes to core strength. You're gonna to wanna to squeeze your elbows in tight towards your torso, keeping your midline very tight, and that's gonna support your upper back. Having a stable anchor point when using the landmine is gonna be super helpful, especially for landmine front rack lunges because you can kind of lean into it and you can focus on keeping your midline nice and tight. And then it's gonna help you with your balance. So you can really focus on isolating the hamstring and the glute of the leg that you're working and not worry about falling over. When I do landmine front rack lunges, it is a full body workout and I absolutely love the way that it makes my legs and my midline feel. The landmine Russian twist is a variation of the traditional Russian twist. It targets your core, obliques, and even your shoulders. It can be performed seated or standing. Our personal preference is to perform these standing. From a standing position, with the other end of the barbell anchored in place, it allows you to lock your arms out and create more leverage with the weight away from your body. That typically means that a lighter weight further away from your body is gonna be more challenging than a heavier weight closer to your body. With a solid foot stance, the goal is to keep your feet and hips locked into place, only twisting at the waist. It enhances your ability to generate force from your core and transfer that efficiently into your upper body. The landmine attachment enhances the exercise by providing a stable anchor point, allowing for a greater range of motion and improved stability throughout the twist. Additionally, the landmine Russian twist helps improve rotational power, which is essential for athletes participating participating in sports like golf, baseball, tennis, and martial arts. You can increase the challenge by either adding more weight or changing the angle of the barbell. Landmine hack squats. This exercise primarily targets your quadriceps while also engaging your glutes and your hamstrings. The landmine attachment allows for more upright torso when you're performing this movement, which is gonna help reduce stress on your lower back compared to the traditional barbell back squat. I love using a landmine hack squat for this reason, especially on days when my lower back's feeling a little bit fatigued. And I also like using it so I can target my quads instead of just my glutes and hamstrings. A pro tip for you, and something that took me a little bit of time to get comfortable with, is you actually need to take a couple steps out further away from the weight than you think, so that way you can lean back into the weight, allowing you to keep the torso upright, and it's gonna be more of a traditional hack squat position. Today's video is sponsored by Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. So none of the junk and lots of salt. No sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, no BS. Electrolytes are responsible for hundreds of functions in the body, including hydration. Water alone is not enough. Element is formulated to help everyone and anyone with their electrolyte needs with a science-backed formula of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Element can help prevent and eliminate things such as headaches, sleeplessness, muscle cramps, fatigue, which can be common symptoms of electrolyte deficiency. Right now, Element is offering my subscribers, that's you, a free sample packet with any order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com forward slash Christy Irmo. This deal is only available through my link, linked below. You can get it at D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash Christy Irmo. Now back to our video. When setting up for the single leg RDL using the landmine, you're gonna wanna plant the foot closest to the landmine in the weight and then take your opposite hand to the end of the barbell. This is gonna not only help you keep your hips and your shoulders square, it's gonna help you keep your midline engaged, and then it's gonna give you some really good glute activation with the counter and the cross pattern happening between the opposite arm and the opposite leg working. When you do these, just focus on hinging nice and controlled. So we don't wanna think about lowering the weight towards the floor, but instead we wanna think about our torso lowering as our back leg lifts, and we're moving as one unit when we perform this movement. The standing landmine press. This exercise focuses on your shoulders, particularly the delts, while also engaging the chest and triceps. 
The landline attachment provides stability and allows for smooth pressing motion, making it suitable, suitable for individuals with different strength levels. The standing landmine press promotes overall shoulder strength and stability. By pressing from a standing position, you engage your core muscles, maintain balance and control. This exercise not only builds muscle, but also enhances your functional strength and shoulder and joint stability. Single arm pressing allows us to independently work on shoulder strength, so we can equal out any imbalances we have from one arm to another. Another variation is a half kneeling or full kneeling landmine press. This variation shifts the focus more towards our chest muscles and triceps while still engaging the shoulders. Kneeling provides an additional stability and allows for more isolated contraction of the targeted muscles. The angled pressing motion and grip position provide a more joint friendly alternative while still delivering an intense upper body workout. The primary benefits of the landmine pressing is its ability to reduce strain on the shoulders and wrist compared to a traditional overhead pressing exercise. Additionally, landmine pressing Variations allow for a greater range of motion, providing an effective stretch for the chest and shoulder muscles. This can help improve overall flexibility and posture, making it a valuable addition to your upper body training routine. Landmine Zerger Kirchi Lunges. These are great for stability and coordination, making it an excellent choice for athletes and anyone looking to improve your lower body strength and agility. One of the main benefits of doing a landmine zercher curtain lunge is the ability to target your glute medius muscle while doing this exercise. That's the muscle that's located on the side of the hip, and this muscle is often underdeveloped and can contribute to imbalance and instability. By incorporating this exercise into your routine, you can strengthen and sculpt your glutes while also improving your hip stability. Another benefit is the Zercher Curtsy Lunge is going to engage your core muscles throughout the entire exercise. So as you perform these lunges, your core muscles will work to stabilize your body and maintain an upright posture. This added core activation makes it a fantastic compound movement for de developing overall strength and stability. The Landmine Bent Over Row is a highly effective exercise that targets muscles of your upper back promoting strength and size and overall muscular development. Landmine bent over rows engage your lats, which are the largest muscles in your back. By using a landmine attachment, you can achieve a more controlled and stable rowing motion, maximizing muscle activation. One of the primary benefits to a landmine bent over row is its versatility. You can adjust the angle of your body, the grip, and the position of the barbell, targeting specific areas of your back. The versatility allows for variation in your training and ensures a well-rounded development. Landmine bent over rows are a joint-friendly alternative to traditional barbell rows. Angle movement patterns and the landmine attachment create stability to reduce stress on your lower back, making it suitable for individuals with back issues or those seeking a safer option. Additionally, landmine bent over rows promote core stability and engagement. To maintain proper position and balance during this exercise, your core muscles work to stabilize your torso, providing an added benefit to core training. There's also a variety of ways that we can set this up. You can go single hand directly on the barbell, above the weights, below the weights. You can use a traditional landmine handle with both hands, or you can use a band double looped over, creating a similar stimulus, stimulus that forces you to work through more stability. Landmine front rack Cossack squats. This movement combines the power of the landmine attachment with the dynamic movement of the Cossack squat, resulting in a unique exercise that targets your glutes, quads, hamstrings, and adductors. This exercise targets the inner and outer thigh muscles, helping to strengthen your adductors and abductors while enhancing your hip stability. By holding the barbell in the front rack position, you engage your core and upper body, and this is gonna add an extra dimension to this exercise, making it awesome for not only lower body strength, but also increasing your core strength. One of my favorite reasons and benefits that I get from doing the landmine front rack Cossack squat is that it helps with improve my hip mobility and my flexibility. The lateral movement of the Cossack squat really stretches out the hip flexors, adductors, and abductors, increasing my range of motion and supporting better overall mobility. I also find by doing a landmine front rack Cossack squat, it helps me develop better unilateral leg strength and balance. So as I shift my weight from side to side, each leg is having to work independently and it's helping address any muscle imbalances that I might have. We hope you found this video valuable and if there's anything else you want us to break down, make sure to like and comment and drop those movements in the comment section so we can break that down and bring it to you in another video. Thanks for tuning in tuning in today. Don't forget to hit subscribe, smash the like button. It really does help our channel and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.